train time viewers, we are actually live here at the controls of an old Novigum Western engine. See right here is the, are the controls. You can see here is the train brake. When he pulls it towards him, he applies brakes. When he pushes it away from him, he releases the air pressure, making the train go. And right here is the reverser. It puts it in gear. Forward, neutral, and reverse. And here is the headlight switch. It turns on dim, medium, and bright. That's your headlight settings. You always keep, always keep those on for safety. And right here is your main throttle. This is the throttle. And when you pull it, you increase the speed. And you put it idle for it to, to don't have any throttle. Then pull it on to increase speed. Up here is the speedometer. And this is your amp meter. This is how much electricity you're using. And these are your brake gauges. That shows you how much pressure, how much air pressure you have. Here's the horn. Let's blow the horn. And down here is the bell. And here are the uh, rear headlight switch. And you're probably wondering why the two brakes. This one is the locomotive brake handle. This controls brakes on the on the locomotive only. This is the train brake, like we said before. You apply the brake, you pull it towards you, push it out to increase, to push it out to release. So that's this is the breaker switch. This is the attendant call and the fault reset. This was made by GM. General Motors in LaGrange, Illinois. EM Electromotive Division. General Motors. And here are the directions on how to control the train. As now we will move on over here. This is the brakeman's. This is the brakeman's chair. This is where he sits. It's actually the conductor's train, but he is just the one operating. Because it's the conductor's train. The engineer just operates it. He's got an old clipboard on the back end of the switch, a back end of the controls. And up here is like the breaker box for your house. He controls all the headlight control, your, your air conditioning compressor, emergency fuel shutoff. If you just push this, it spilled out all the fuel, making the train stop in emergency. Your hot engine light, you don't have any power or you have low oil. These are very important. When your engine is hot, stop for a little while, then continue. If it has low oil, you need to put oil in it. This is the ignition switch, or the, no, it's the isolation switch, same thing. Now is, I will sit back down here, and this is kind of small, and this is the yard over here. This is owned by Norfolk Southern, ex Norfolk and Weston, and a, tr a big old load of containers just left, and he went down, down to Port of Norfolk. There are some BNSF swoosh cars, and he's actually moving some cars around the around the yard. It's not a big yard, but it's pretty small. And right there are your windshield wipers. There is a controller down here and I don't know, I don't actually remember where the wipers are, but they're there if you need. Here's the sander that push, this This turns the sander on and you push this button and it releases sand pressure. I mean it releases the sand. Because sometimes these wheels slip. You push it, you push this button to, to push to put sand under the track and it reduces friction so the trains can get up steep hills. You can take a look. There's the, the water tower right there. It's got the 611 on it. That is a that is a crew landmark. And he's got containers over there. He's got box cars, hoppers, section of the track, you name it. And this is what it's like to sit inside a locomotive. Chairs are old, you can tell, but these are the lockers to help put their stuff in. But now as I will go out, see, look how thin the walkway is. It's very small. Oh. And right all in here is the engine. About 16-cylinder engine is housed in here. And, and the generator is all the way back in there. And that generates the electricity. This is why it's called a diesel electric engine. The engine provides the power which turns motors, which generates electricity and provides power to turn the wheels. Come on, I'll show you what's back here. 
back here is a huge air compressor. It releases, it creates all the tr all the pressure and on all the um, it controls the air pressure on the train and all the cars that it pulls. It's powered by air pressure. When he releases the brakes, he releases the, tr the brakes on the locomotive and the train. If he applies it, the system grows through air hoses. The air pressure goes to those air hoses down there, which are down there at the bottom. When he releases, pushes on the brake, they go all the way through the hose, and then the brake shoe on that wheel pushes against the wheel to slow the train down. See, now, when you get off, turn around, you take one step at a time, if you lose balance, it's okay. There's the floor. It's not a very, very big walkway. And there it is. I think that's a GP9M. And there are the mirrors up there where you can adjust them to see your blind spots. There's the engine. And I do hear some yard activity down there too. So there's a hopper and a couple of box cars and of course the caboose we were just at. Here's right here's a little pavilion. Where you can have, this is a dedication. This place in history and memory honors cruise generations of dedicated railroads since 1888. I do hear some General Electric coming through here. Oh man, he's coming up. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's Norfolk Southern work in the yard. Oh yeah. Oh my god! Oh, that's evolution! Oh my god! He's got that, and it's an SD70 M-2. Yes, it is. Oh sweet, we got a we got an ES44 DC in the house. Man, we got another rare finding today. See, there's the train there. You'll see him come around in just a minute, right through that gate. See if I can give him a blow horn. 7654 and SD70 M 2663. No, he didn't see us. His windows are tinted and I can't see him. VAPX hoppers. And he is loaded and he is heading down to Lambert's Point. And right now he's probably going at least 25 miles an hour. Probably the max speed limit is about 20 miles an hour. He may not even stop here. And there he goes. Man, where is the end of this train, man? There's some brakes coming on. He's heading on down past crew. He'll head through Petersburg, and then he'll head down to to Ivor, Disputana, Zunai, Wakefield, and Windsor. He'll pass through downtown Suffolk, and then he'll head on down to Norfolk. And that's where this train will go from here. Come on, bring it on, NS. Man, he's got a bunch of coal black gold. He probably just came out of West Virginia. I don't know where, where the coal will go from here. The coal will probably go global since this is a um, worldwide economy. Some of it used to go to Franklin, to the Dominion Generation. That's not happening anymore. They're going to wood chips. 
this will this will be transported on ships at Norfolk, and then the ships will take it out to China, Korea, to many places around the world. And it looks like this train is not stopping. And he's blowing at the crossing way down there. And I know where the crossing is. Because the roundhouse used to be here because this was NNW. But they tore the roundhouse down a long time ago. And here comes the end of the train. There's a Conrail car down there too. Man, this was a great train. This was incredible. And here comes the end of the train. And here comes the final hoppers. And there he goes. What a great train. And on he'll go down to Disputana, Ivor, Zunai, Wakefield, and Windsor, and all the way down to Norfolk. And there goes the Evolution engine and the SD70M-2. What a great train. Let me let you look down here. There's a box car. There's hoppers all the way down there. And the Conrail car is where my index finger is. A couple of new hoppers. Some auto racks down there. Containers. You name it. Show you one last little thing. There's one of the Powhatan cars. These were hauled on the Norfolk and Western J611 back in the day. Beautiful car. Just a beautiful car there. And right here is a steam engine. I want you to look at this just real quick. This is a 280 steam engine. These were produced probably in the 20s or the 30s. Back when steam was king. So that will pretty much wrap it up here in Crew Virginia. This is your Train Time staff saying thank you all for tuning in on this special edition of Train Time with a Norfolk Southern train. And we'll see you guys back at headquarters. All right. Go Norfolk Southern. How, uh, one line, infinite possibilities. Gosh, I haven't said that in a long time. And hail Norfolk and Western. You will be missed.